सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए Environmental pollution is a great threat and a matter of concern for the existence of our planet. Pollution levels are also increasing every year causing harm to animals, birds and humans in many ways. In order to curb the pollution and motivate people to switch to environmental alternatives, the Road Transport Ministry has announced very recently to impose additional taxes on vehicles and this tax will be known as the green tax. In today's edition of RTNS we will be talking about the green tax in detail. The Union Minister for Road and Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari recently approved to levy a green tax on vehicles. This green tax will be levied on old vehicles. The owners of old vehicles will have to pay the tax as a penalty for polluting the environment. This will be higher if you are residing in one of the polluted cities in India. Green tax is a pollution tax or environmental tax. It is an excise duty on the activities or goods that cause environmental pollution. This taxation method discourages people and makes them more responsible and sensitive towards the environment. According to the ministry, green tax will reduce the pollution level and make the polluter pay for the pollution. It will also prevent people from using vehicles that are old and damaged. Moreover, it will motivate them to switch to environmental friendly options. Now further let us know what will be the charges on different vehicles. Under the green tax, personal vehicles will be charged a tax at the time of renewal of registration certificate after 15 years. The charges will vary depending on the type of fuel that is petrol or diesel as well as on the type of vehicle. Transport vehicles older than 8 years could be charged with green tax at the time of renewal of fitness certificate at the rate of 10 to 25 percent of road tax. Green tax also includes a steep penalty of up to 50% of road tax for older vehicles registered in some of the highly polluted cities. Public transport vehicles like the city buses will be paying lower green tax. Meanwhile, vehicles used in farming such as tractor, harvester, tiller and some others will be exempted entirely. Approval for deregistration and scraping of vehicles owned by the government department and PSUs that piled on the road for 15 years or more was also given. This will come into effect from April 1, 2022. Now lastly, let us know about the revenue collected and what will happen to it. The revenue collected from the green tax will be kept in a separate account and will be used for tackling pollution. The states have been asked to set up state-of-the-art facilities to monitor the emission. The main purpose of the green tax is to sensitize the citizens towards ever-increasing pollution and its harmful effects. As a responsible citizen, one should be conscious of protecting the environment. Maintaining and getting your vehicles serviced on time and discarding them responsibly after a designated period can help in protecting the environment in the long run.